What's up everyone, it's your boy Scott. Welcome to the Scott Report. Today I'm bringing you an anime review of Spirit Pact Episode 1. You know, I was kind of worried about not having anything on Saturday because I wasn't going to pick anything up until Dragon Ball started the tournament arc. But thankfully Spirit Pack came in and gave me just a little something to be excited about. It's kind of a double-edged sword because I wouldn't mind chilling out. But at the same time, I'm glad I'm able to bring you guys something. As this first episode was very enjoyable and it may have been the most enjoyable at first episode I've seen so far. Not counting Rakugo because that is in a class of its own. Nothing's going to top that. But as far as the new properties that we are getting in this winter season... I am pretty much sold. I mean, this series so far, it's like Yu Yu Hakusho, it's like Inuyasha, it's like Blue Exorcist, it's like a whole bunch of things mixed together, and so far it's being mixed together so well, and just off the synopsis alone, I mean, the main character gets hit by a car, and now he is going to fight evil spirits along with another one. Count me in off that alone. And once again, we have seen someone get hit by a car, become a spirit detective, and go on to fight evil spirits and we're kind of seeing the same thing here just with a little bit of a mix it's not exactly like Yu Yu Hakusho but it definitely gives me that same type of feel and I'm really excited and glad that I am enjoying this series so far because all of the Chinese adaptions I've watched so far has let me down I mean we had Outcast, which was bad I mean Blood of Wars I think that was a manhwa if I'm not mistaken that was horrible Chubi I don't even want to get on that but Spirit Pack seemed to have broke the mold and I hope that these adaptions these Chinese adaption i think soul buster was one too i didn't really enjoy that but i hope these adaptions keep getting better because if they do good maybe just maybe one day i'll actually get to see an adaption of the breaker and if that happens i am going to lose my shit but this is definitely going to get the three episode test and i think it's going to exceed it because it's hitting so many good things on the right channel so far from starting us right off with a beautiful opening as soon as the episode starts to our main characters you and um tanmoku who are just very interesting they're very enjoyable characters and this series overall has that nice blend of comedy in it it's not bad comedy or misplaced comedy like drifters the comedy is right there right where it needs and it carries things so far i mean you as a main character i mean he's broke i mean he his family was like rich that used to be well-renowned exorcist but now he's just a down now fortune teller on the corner and he absolutely hates doing this you know people ask him what their fortune is and he just pones them and expose them and tells them all the bad things about themselves he's broke i mean this guy is also part-timing as a P pc tech and i know what that's like but he's broke i mean he doesn't have any money so sometimes he has to fix computers for people but he doesn't have the part for it so he has to go and scrap go through the garbage to get the parts for it to make ends meet and it was like one lady he was like well you know i used to be rich too or at least he was saying to himself so yeah you're gonna fall off your horse one day and you're not gonna be as happy as you think the comedy was just there even down to when the characters ultimately make the pact with um you saying you know what i didn't read the contract yet i didn't agree to this or i don't want to be bonded to you it was just the comedy that was there because they have these rings and the rings tie their spiritual energies together and you was like wait a minute are you asking me to marry you no i'm not doing that the comedy was just on point and some of the things we got as far as the world building about the episode itself because um Tan Moku says that when you die, you end up being manifest as the part of your life where you were most happy. I mean, we've heard this before, like in things, you know, dealing with the afterlife or whatnot. He says that when you die, you become at your most happiest point. So you was a little bit younger and the villain that we have in this episode, which was the evil spirit, was actually a little girl because that's when she was most happiest or most innocent because ultimately she ended up being a killer. And when he showed her true self and what she did, you see that she wasn't an adult anymore. So it's interesting that that is there as well to kind of bring a little bit of morality to it because when this villain was ultimately exercised, you know, you was like, it was a little kid. How can you do that? And Tamoku was like, well, you don't know this spirit i'm not going to get into what made her this way but she was a little girl because that one she was her most innocent and that's the worst thing because these spirits are going to con you like that i mean i just like this overall i like the music that they had throughout the episode i like the opening i like the ending it's going to be a fun ride and i am thoroughly thoroughly glad that i can bring this because i was i had hopes for it but i didn't want to put my hopes too high and get shot down but now i have nothing to worry about because it seems like this is going to be a fun ride we'll have to see after three episodes but i don't think i'm going to drop this and also it's even a bit of comedy of how fast um use life just turned for the better or worse however it's going to turn out because again he was this fortune teller slash pc tech who was down and out next thing you know he gets hit by a car and just like that 
before he got hit by the car. I'm sorry. Let me back up again a bit. He saw um, Tamoku fight the evil spirit. Then he gets hit by the car. And Tamoku knows him at that point. He was like, if you can see the spirit, then it must be something wrong with you or something special about you. We've seen this many a times. So that automatically lets you know that he was going to be something special. And that's when he breaks down to you when he dies. You know, it's like you come back as when you are your most innocent or at your best point of your life. He also explains that you only have seven days in order to um, take this pack that he's given. He says, be my spirit shadow. You have immense spiritual power. You can see the spirits already, so you can help me. And he's like, I don't want to work for you. No, I'm a spirit now. I can do whatever I want. I can't die because I'm a spirit. You know, it took a little bit of coaxing, and he did eventually um, agree to the pact after getting kidnapped by the demon, of course, and actually having the threat of becoming an evil spirit himself. But the whole point of it was, you know, Tom Oku was saying that if you don't accept this pact within a certain amount of time, you will become an evil spirit. So I'm going to have to come after you anyway. You might as well take a deal. It's not a bad deal to begin with. They finally do put on the ring and then that gives Tom Oku the boost that he needs to take out the evil spirit. And that was the episode in a nutshell. Again, it was a very enjoyable first episode. I cannot wait for episode two because it looks like um, you're going to have to learn on a job because as soon as this battle is over, he's going right into their first mission together. So I cannot wait. Guys, definitely let me know what you thought of Spirit Pack in the comments below will you be sticking with it will you give it a three episode test i know i plan to be in for a long call because i think it's only going to go up from here you can see from the opening and some of the promo images that we have for this series as well that you're going to be able to get in there and fight at some point it looks like he's going to have like a little dagger or a blade or something so that's going to be interesting as well i thoroughly enjoyed it let me know what you guys think i'm going to go ahead and get up out of here if you like the video go ahead and drop it a like and if you want to hear more go ahead and hit that subscribe button as there's not a shortage of content you guys indulge on on this channel and as i always say you guys can be anywhere on youtube right now but you chose to listen to me and i really appreciate that so thanks for stopping by on that note it's your boy scott signing out see you soon